Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter Up Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be my May reading wrap-up, as well as my June reads and studies. I am going to get back into doing some personal studies this month, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so, yeah, we're going to jump into that. But before I do, I am missing my phone. <laughs> got that but um i do want to mention that there is a summer youtube collab that me and angela from transform through god's word have started it's called the kingdom sisters summer youtube collab and if you guys are interested in joining you can just click the eye on the screen to watch that video basically it's three videos through the month through the months of june july and august um there's going to be a 20 question tag for the month of june there is going to be a sort of routine or essentials video that you can do in the month of july and then in august there is going to be an actual bible study that we're going to all do on psalms not on psalms 119 sorry um but you can just pick whatever verses you want to do and just sh it's basically you sharing your study method um using verses from psalm 119 and I, we figured that would be fun for you guys to do and um for us to interact with a lot of you guys who have started youtube channels or want to start youtube channels so if you do want to join in and there is a PDF file linked down below that you can download. You don't have to um, be in within the group of Daughter of Increase or Transform Through God's Word. You can just be a follower or just a random person that came across this video that wants to join in. So again, all the information will be linked down below for you guys if you are interested. But let's get into this video. So I'm going to tell you guys the things that I did and didn't read in the month of May. And then run through the things that I want to study in June and the things that I want to read in June. So, starting off with Pearl in the Sand. I did complete Pearl in the Sand. This is the book pick for um, the Daughter of Increase Facebook group. And this week, oh god, what are we in this week? I think we're in 13 to 15 or 16 to 18 this week. That's a good question. I'll put it on the screen exactly which which one we are because I'm not gonna um, unlock my phone right now. <laughs> but I completed this book. I love this book so much. It is still a five star read for me. This is just everything. I love it. I'm gonna have a full blown video, um, book review for this because I am like obsessed. This is like my number one favorite book out there. Like literally my number one book. I love this so much. It's amazing. Rahab is so sweet. Simone is like annoying but so amazing at the same time. Joshua, I'm rooting for him. Um, I love everybody in this book. They're amazing like so much. So, yes, I did complete this a little earlier, just a little earlier than everybody else, but um, it's okay because I love this book so much. The next book that I said I was going to read and completed is How to Be a Christian by C.S. Lewis. I gave this book three stars. Um, I did a review on this book, so I'm not going to mention my thoughts on it. You just can click the eye on the screen to see my review on it, but um, I did read it and I gave it three stars. The next book I completed was Flight of the Raven by Morgan L. Bussey. I love this series so much. It is Ravenwood Saga. I am obsessed with this series. It is the best series ever. It's Christian fantasy. It is amazing. This book was a lot more inspirational than the first book. I loved it. I will say the first 10 chapters uh, killed me. I was like dreading reading them because it was just annoying and really slow. But after chapter 10, whew, that story picked up real quick. And I mean, you guys see all the tabs, right? There's a lot more pink tabs in this book than the first book because the romance between Lord D Grand Lord Damien and Grand Lady Celine was amazing. The quotes in here were amazing. The inspiration just... You guys can see, right? I was writing my book because it's amazing. It's Christian fantasy. This is a sequel to Mark of the Raven. I cannot wait for the third book to come out. The third book is called Cry of the Raven. So can't wait. And I think there's going to be a fourth because it's a saga. Sagas are four books, right? If I'm not mistaken. Um, so I'm just, I'm excited for everything that is going to take place because this book is just, this book is all about Lady Celine just learning to accept her powers. And that's all I'm going to say. You have to read the first book. I definitely recommend you reading Mark of the Raven. Um, and if you guys don't know what Mark of the Raven is, let me grab my book. Is this my book? I don't want to knock my mug over. Yes. So here is Mark of the Raven. So if you don't know, um, read this book because this is the sequel. And I love both of them equally. I gave them both five stars. I'm super major fan. Love it so much. So read that. Okay. So the last two books um, that I said I wanted to read in May, I didn't get to. Um, and that was Bread of Angels by Tessa Abshar. This is a story of Lydia, who was a seller of the color purple. Um, so yeah, I did not get to this book. And... 
this book I started but didn't finish. So, um, actually, did I start this? No, I actually did not even start it till this month, actually. I'm looking in my book journal real quick. Yeah, I didn't even start this book in May. And um, it was Screw Tape Letters. I'll put the original cover here. That's the original cover. Um, but I have it in the bind up, so I'm reading it in here. I didn't even start it in May, so yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the books that I am going to be reading for the month of June. <laughs> um, so I have two Christian nonfiction books. Um, the first one being. Screw tape letters, which you guys, I am five chapters in or five letters in. Holy cow, I am loving this. I'm um, six chapters in actually. Six chapters in. I have underlined and annotated. I just need to add my color and stuff, as you guys can see. Like, I have notes in here. I need to go back in and just add color because I have underlined and stuff. I just haven't annotated with the colors. But holy cow, this book. <laughs> is so good um again the way that i can describe it is screw ta screw tape is like a chief demon and he's writing letters to a lower demon on how to tempt humankind and they refer to humans as patients and they refer to god as the enemy the enemy is always capitalized with an e so it is so good and it gives you sort of like an inside look at how demons think and as i was reading this i was seeing things that i could remember took place in my life and now i'm understanding them differently and they really hit on prayer and stuff like that so such a good book i am loving it it's five stars already i still have a good ways to go but i'm i'm giving it five stars don't care um moving on the next book i'm gonna read is one that i should have read like a month ago yeah and that is going to be Own Your Everyday by Jordan T Jordan Lee Dooley. She is the founder and creator of Soul Scripts on YouTube and the website. Um, she's really well known for her like Bible journaling techniques. I'll leave a link to her YouTube channel down below. I actually do like her Instagram and her ministry that she has. Um, but yeah, this is an arc that I received. I should have been read this. This came out May 14th. So I need to read this ASAP. And um, I own another one of her books. I think it's called Purpose or something like that. I got an e-arc of. So I'm just, I'm slacking. Slacking majorly, but we're going to work on it. So we have this book. The next three are going to be biblical fiction because I want to get into more biblical fiction this month. So the first book that I'm going to read is Tessa Apshar's Bread of Angel because she finally has her other book coming out soon. She has a title. I think it's called Daughter of Rome. Don't quote me. I'll put the image of the title here that she posted, um, but it's on Priscilla and Aquila. I think that's how you say that name. Um, and I'm so excited, but I decided I'm going to read this. She is the seller of the color purple, the purple cloth. Um, and it's about Lydia and it's a new Testament story. And I'm excited to dive into this book. It's one that I put on hold. I basically, it was this book and, um, the land of silence were the last two books that I needed to complete within the Tessa Afshar books that I owned, um, that she has out published. And I've been pausing and putting it on hold because I don't want to read them all and then have to wait so long for her next book, but I'm going to go into this book this month. So excited. Can't wait. The next book is by Connie Lynn Cassette. And there's a reason why I'm reading this book next. Because I'm also reading another book from her. So, yes. Um, and this is the first book in her Out for, out of Egypt. Out from Egypt, sorry. Out from Egypt series. Um, and it's Counted with the Stars. It's book one in that series. And I want to start this series because apparently book four in her Cities of Refuge series has characters from the first series and i know that mariah who is like the main character in the cities of refuge series is from this series if that makes sense like they're connected this this first series and these cities of refuge series so i figured i would finally dive into this series because why not and the book covers are stunning um so i'm gonna be diving into this okay and the next book like i said is also from connie lynn cassette because i am a part of her launch team for this book and this book comes out within a month well a little less than three weeks about three and a half weeks basically her book comes out um and it's until the mountains fall this is book three in the cities of refuge series and i'm so excited to read this i'm so excited to read this because i just i love i love i love Mariah, which is the main character from the first book, which is A Light on the Hill, and then books two, three, and four are about her children, so <sighs> I'm excited to read this book so much, because I know it's going to rock me, it's going to be emotional, heart-wrenching, heart-gripping, it's going to make me cry, it's going to make me laugh, just because I love Mariah, 
and um, just everything that she went through in book one and then watching her grow and her family grow within books two and now three and then book four. Can't wait. And um, I'm super excited because book four has a title. Book four also has a cover. Here's the cover, you guys. So this literally is my favorite cover of all four books. That has to be my favorite cover. Book two, I like the cover of it as well. Book three, I like the colors of like the garment. But I also like the clouds in book one. Like the entire series is like stunning. I'll put an image right here over my face so you're not going to see my face. But um, the image of those four books together, stunning. Stunning artwork. I just think it's amazing. But that is basically all the books that I want to read for the month of June. Okay, so on to the things that I want to study in the month of June. Now you guys know I'm taking these minister classes and they are kicking my butt just because I've missed like the last two or three classes. I missed the last two classes actually two classes so i'm behind on a lot of work um we have an 18 page paper that needs to get done on these six doctrines um and it's only 18 pages because each doctrine is basically the six doctrines of christianity or christ or however you want to name it there's so different many there are many different ways that people refer to it um but there are six of them and she wants three pages per doctrine but she wants it in one complete like page in apa format yeah um, then I still have to do my observations on James 1 and 2, which I'm slacking on. Then I still gotta do Bible study homework. Bible study homework is not gonna be that long, though. No. Um, and then still have other stuff to do for ministry. But these are the Bible studies that I'm going to be getting into this month, or at least trying to get my way through, because I miss doing my personal Bible study time, and as well as doing Bible studies with my siblings. So, um, I'm just pulling up my blog real quick, because I actually wrote down some stuff on my blog. On my blog, there's a section called Current currently study or current study section where you guys can always keep up to date on what i'm going to be studying and things like that but um okay so the first thing i have here is jonah by priscilla shire this was gifted to me from stephanie harris hey sis she does have a youtube channel you guys can check out i'll leave it linked down below you can click the eye on the screen but she sent this to me about the time we were studying jonah and i just i know i need to read this because i know that this is something that is really really relevant to my life right now um it's called navigating a life interrupted and especially with the way i was thinking the last two weeks before my birthday um i know that this is something i need to read and i've seen another youtuber i will try to find her name put it on the screen and link all her videos down below where she's actually doing this with her church um i think it's the young women's group at her church they're going through this and she goes on weekly and she discusses um the stuff that she learned and uh it's very impactful so that's what sparked me getting into this. Now, I don't have the DVDs to this, which is fine. Um, I can purchase them, but I'm probably not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to get into this. And I mean, this is set up to be done five days, like five days within the week. If I'm not mistaken, it's five days a week. I'm probably not going to do it like that. I don't know. We'll see how things work out. I may incorporate this into like my morning routine or my evening routine. I'm not sure yet, but we have this. Next, I want to get back into Joshua. So I've been using my ESV um, Story of Redemption Bible. It's a journaling Bible, single column. Let me show you guys real quick. It is set up like this. And I really do love this Bible. It is really pretty aesthetically. And I've been studying the book of Joshua in here. Um, I decided to, I don't know why I decided to do my bible study in here not the new king james it's esv translation but um i've been studying i don't know if i can do this without dropping i've been studying joshua in here and i've done one through three already and if i could turn the next page not gonna turn here we go so my goal at least for the month of june is to do chapters four through eight um of joshua if i can at least do chapters four five and six i'll be fine but i really want to do chapters four through eight um in the book of joshua studying it for the month of june and um, i'm going to work out a complete schedule where i'm doing one of these studies a week like a day because i, I want to get through a lot right and then taking my new king james journal of the word bible you guys can see um all right, well, I am going to be getting back into Mark and also in Psalms because I really just want to get through the dang on um, Gospels. I think I just I just needed a minute to clear my mind because I went immediately from John to Luke, then started Mark, and it was just too much with the Gospels. <laughs> I love the Gospels, though. So right now for Mark, I've completed chapters 1 and 2. You guys can see, like, I've completed chapters 1 and 2. I think I've done 3. Oh, I did 
I've actually completed chapters one through three. I did not know that. I thought I was still in chapter three. So I need to fix that. Um, so my goal is to do chapters four, five, and six. Yeah, I might. Let me see how long six is. Oh, no. Mm. My goal is to do um, chapters four through seven. I initially wanted to do chapters three through six, but I already did chapter three, which I didn't even know. So I want to get through chapters four through seven. So I need to edit that on um, my website, on my blog. And then I also want to get back into the Psalms. And um, I'm still on Psalm 68. I started it down here, but I never completed it. So I want to get through Psalm 68 to 74 because then I'll have completed the first two books in um, Psalms. And then I can dive into book three in july so that's pretty much it um those are the books that i want to read and what the things that i want to study outside of obviously doing the things from the minister's class i will be recording me doing some work for that like i said i have a paper to do i have um some like in-depth observations and stuff like that to do for james so i'm gonna do some videos on that but yeah i think that's it for now that's everything that i wanted to read and study for the month of june and everything that i did and did not complete in a month of may so yeah if you guys have any questions comments concerns um or anything comment down below if you're new to this channel subscribe thumbs up this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye